What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be talking about the arena in Dead Age 2. Now, the arena is something I would suggest doing pretty early on because it's a very easy way of making money. Now, as you can see, I've got 100 at the moment. Now, you have four fights. In those four fights, you'll put up a wager, and then if you win that fight, you will get double the money back. So if you put up 25, you get 50. If you put up 50, you get 100, so on and so forth. Now, the first three fights, relatively easy. Uh, there should be no problems at all but the fourth one that tends to be a little bit more difficult but we'll go into that as we get there we've got first fight it says level two recommended won't worry too much about the the recommended levels just go into there it's only the last fight that you really need to be worried about as you can see 25 as the wager double that 50. now the key to it is is finding the ones that are going to stun you first because this game is all about turns. So as long as you don't lose any turns or you don't waste any of your turns, if you're stunned, you can't use your turn. So the idea is to take anything that does stun to you or makes you lose a turn or potentially brings in other enemies. Now, because obviously what you don't want is you don't want to miss a turn, but you also don't want more foes to face. So what we want to do is we want to take on the ones that are going to stun you and also the ones that are going to bring more enemies into the battle. So in this case, it will be the back two. So as you can see, I'm literally just trying to whittle down the back ones. That back one's dead now, so she can no longer bring any more bad guys into it. Now, the Hound is something that I would strongly suggest bringing into the game, because as you can see, the Hound's just literally come into the game and just stunned the front guy. Just straight off the bat, so he is now out of the picture for the next two rounds. Now, I'm not using my rifle with Tessa at the moment because I'm running low on ammo and I want to save it for the later rounds. But obviously, when you do this, try and have as much ammo as you possibly can do. So the guy on the floor is now out of it. We've got this one person left. Tessa's just going to slice him up. And there we go. Round one over and done with. Relatively simple. And we've just doubled our money from that. Put in 25, got 50 back, up to 125. Very, very nice. We're just gonna go straight into the next next round. The only thing I would say with this one is that there are a few more zombies to worry about. Although there's a few zombies, there's a barrier up, so you're pretty much safe for at least the first three rounds, I would say. To be fair, the ones we wanna worry about here are the ones at the back, because they're the ones that are gonna regenerate all the health. So we wanna try and whittle down the back ones if we can do. Also, this guy at the front has got armor plating, so we want to make sure we deal with that before the barriers come down. Also, guys, when you take your turns, try and do as much damage to as many foes as you can do. Now, I am going to be bringing out a kind of like a weapons guide, mainly because there are certain weapons, in my opinion, that are a lot better than others. And there's also certain perks on those weapons that are a hell of a lot better than others. So I will be going through that very soon. Probably in the next couple of days, I'll bring that out. And as you can see, we're down to five enemies at the moment. Those barriers are absolutely sorting us out right now. We've got one stunned at the back. So she's out of the game for the next two turns. Throwing a Molotov just to get rid of the armor plating. Whenever you can bring the Hound out, try and bring the Hound out as quickly as possible because the Hound has got the, the massive benefit and also the massive chance right at the start to stun an enemy. If you can stun your enemies, it's pretty much, a well, it is a lot easier to win the match because that enemy is out of the picture for at least two turns. Now, obviously, in this case, he didn't come out with the stun, but he also tanks for you as well. So you want the dog or the turret or whatever you've got in front you want that to take as much damage as possible before it takes damage on your characters basically so he's now stunned that zombie at the front we've now finished off all the regenerating zombies and like i said scatter shot we've literally just done critical damages on two of those which is absolutely perfect he's out of it and as you can see, guys, we've really taken no damage at all. We have literally taken no damage. And unfortunately, I've run out of ammo quite a lot here. As you can see, not a lot of ammo left on Tessa. But those barriers have absolutely sorted us. And also that poison trap is finished off with us. So we, we took no damage there. And we're up to 160. We started off at 100. We've gained $60 
for pretty much doing nothing. All we were doing is just fighting zombies like we normally would. Now, obviously, when you're doing this, just check your inventory, make sure you've got enough ammo, make sure you've got enough healing products, because when you get to the later stages, like this one and also the last one, you want to make sure you're pretty healed up because it does get a lot more difficult. So now we just bet 50. So we should get 100 back for this one, providing we win. Now, as you can see, this one's not that difficult. In my opinion, the one before it is a lot more difficult. When you fight the, the third round, you want to make sure you take the woman out in the front because she's the one that is able to stun you quite easily. She's got the capabilities of just stun locking your characters. And as you can see, we're down to three already. I don't think we've taken any damage yet. I'm not too worried about the guy in the front. But as you can see, we just did a hell of a lot of damage there to two characters. The guy in the front got a crit. Now, as you can see, again, I am, like I said, I'm going to go into the, the weapons guides. But he has now stunned that guy. I do not need to worry about him for two turns. Now the dog come into it, but he didn't. I was hoping he was going to stun him. Now, the dog's now just stun locked that guy into another turn. He's now down, and we've got one guy left, and we've really taken no damage again. We really have not taken any damage. Now, unfortunately, we got really unlucky with Iron Jesus there. Somehow the guy is stunned on the floor, not moving, and we somehow miss him with the shotgun. Now, I think it's something to do with the range, but... We swap Tessa in and she just finishes it up. Now we're up to 100, 210. So we've pretty much doubled our money by three fights. And let's be fair, they've all been relatively easy. I mean, I've taken very little damage. The last round, the last match, is a hell of a lot more difficult than the other three. Mainly, not necessarily because they're more difficult opponents. It's more to do with the fact that there's a lot more of them. Now on this last one, you do have the option to cheat. Me personally, I, I would suggest not doing it, but if you wanted to check to see what happens, then go for it. So as you can see, we've got five to deal with. Now again, the one that you wanna worry about is the one using the fists, because that person will stun lock you really easily. So I'm just gonna try and stun him straight off the bat. So now I don't have to worry about him for two turns. Now obviously you can see the guy in the back with the chainsaw. Obviously he's the boss man, he's also got plating so we need to be wary of that. Now what I'm thinking about is I probably maybe should have finished that guy off because obviously he's going to burst me down but I'm not too worried about him because he doesn't do that much damage so I want to try and do as much damage as possible to different people and then try and finish him off in the next round. So this guy is still stunned at the front. We killed that guy, so at the moment we're only facing three. I'm probably going to try and take the woman out at the front on this one. Because she's the one that's going to be the most threat to me at the moment. So now we're down to three. And as you can see, we've again, we've taken very little damage. Now, the reason I've unstunned that guy is because he was going to, after our turn, he would have woken up. So I might as well finish him off. As you can see, he looks a lot worse than he actually is. He, he's done some damage, but nowhere near as much as what we really need to panic about. Now, ideally, Tessa would have done a lot better in this. Okay, so that did quite a bit of damage there. This is why I'm telling you, you need to make sure you've got some medic packs or something or that you're fully healed because if I'd have gone into this match in the state I was before, Tessa would have probably been dead right about now. I want to bring the dog out, so see if it stuns. It does. Perfect. Somehow we grazed him again. Iron Jesus is definitely not on our side at the moment. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to finish him off in this one. But he's got 106 damage. I mean, Iron Jesus is not on our side at the moment. If we would have hit that first shot, or even if anyone would have hit their first shots, he'd have been dead already. But... It's not a huge issue because the dog finishes off for us. And there we go, guys. So we are the arena champions. We started off with 100. We finished off with $260, which is really, really helpful. Trust me. And obviously, you can go to the vendor, buy whatever you need, med packs or whatever you need. But 
it helps your standing as well and then you go over to the military one and then there's another arena there but yeah guys thank you very much for watching i do appreciate it if you did find this helpful and you want to see more please leave a like and subscribe it's it helps me loads there will be more videos coming out on dead age 2 so stay tuned but yeah thank you very much for watching hope you have a lovely rest of the day and i'll see you in the next one